Hi, I'm David Hardy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Loudmax plugin to help rescue a very low level recording. Okay, so basically what it was, I was out a couple of weeks ago with my mate Gary testing his Sony A7 Mark III with various microphones and such. And during the testing, I'd forgotten to put the gain stage back up again on the camera's internal amplifier when we switched back to the internal microphones, which basically meant that I got an extremely low level recording using the camera's internal microphones. So I'm just gonna give you a very quick example of how low that recording was. Okay, so as you could hear there, that is extremely low. Now there's a couple of ways to try and fix this. So the first one is to basically use the channel gain itself to bring up the level of the audio. So if I go to this copy of the clip here, as we can see on the channel, I've maxed it out at plus 12. So let's have a quick listen to see how that sounds. Just to, to anchor the dialogue to the center, but these are gonna sound great though. Okay, so as you could hear there, it did come up a little bit, but it was nowhere near enough. So what we could also do though, is go to the summing bus or the master stereo output and do the same with that. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've raised that up to plus 12 as well, or plus 12 dB. So what I'm gonna do now is just give another example of how that sounds. Wait, guys. Yeah. That seems uh, like a really good idea. I mean, sometimes you like a nice ambient background, depending on where you are. And okay, so that definitely raised up a bit more again, but it's still not enough for us to use as an appreciable output level. And the other thing with doing that as well is by raising your master or your stereo bus up, the problem that you're gonna have is that you will impede like you know your main mix a little as well, or you'll start causing issues within your main mix. So I would always recommend you keep that at zero and only raise it ever so slightly if you have to. Like I say, there are potential issues that can come when you start raising up your master summing bus right up like that, because what it'll do, it'll do a lot of problems for, or it'll cause a lot of problems for whatever it is that you're trying to achieve within the mix itself. So what you should always really be doing is concentrating on getting the mix right with the actual input levels. This is gonna be a short video and I can't go into like the many problems that could happen if you start raising up your output summing bus too high. Okay, so then the third way that we can deal with this is to use the Loudmax plugin to massively gain up the audio. So what I'm gonna do here is just show you exactly what I've done with Loudmax. So as you can see here, I've used an insane setting, which when you look at it, you'd be thinking, well, that's gonna be terrible. Well, actually it isn't. It's actually very, very good. So what I've done here, I've applied minus 30, as you can see. So there's minus 30 there. So basically I'm applying minus 30 dB worth of gain reduction. And then the way obviously the Loudmax plugin works, that's gonna do an auto regain back up. So it's gonna sum back up for us within the channel. Also, I've got a kind of, I've got a ceiling on of like minus 0 0.1. Now, you know, it's not entirely necessary in this particular instance here to, for me to have done that. I just do it out of habit because it's just a good thing to get into. And the reason why it's not necessarily going to help me so much with this particular instance of using loud max is because I'm also gaining a touch here on the actual channel itself. So between the combination of massively reducing and then gaining with Loudmax and then adding a little bit more here, I've now managed to bring this level so it peaks just below zero. So let me just give you an example quickly of that. But these are gonna sound great though. So go ahead, talk a bit, guys. Yeah. Okay, so as you could hear there, that is substantially louder. So what I'm gonna do is play all three right the way through. Whatever you do, don't start r raising any volumes at this point, because by the time it gets down here, it'll rip your ears off. So let me just play this through, and I'll discuss very quickly afterwards what the net result of that is. What it is with this, with these mics, because obviously it's a stereo pair of Omnis, we're gonna get a nice spacious sound. Yeah, hmm. but for dialogue, I, I prefer to record with a mono mic just to, to anchor the dialogue to the center. But these are going to sound great, though. So go ahead, talk a bit, guys. Yeah, that seems uh, like a really good idea. I mean, sometimes you like a nice ambient background, depending on where you are. And I 
presuming that for the, the cost of the A7 III, the microphone's going to be pretty good. What it is with this, with these mics, because obviously it's a stereo pair of Omnis, we're going to get a nice spacious sound. Yeah, hmm. but for dialogue, I, I prefer to record with the mono mic just to, to anchor the dialogue to the centre. But these are going to sound great though. So go ahead, talk a bit, Gaz. Yeah, that seems uh, like a really good idea. I mean, sometimes you like a nice ambient background depending on where you are. And uh, I'm presuming that for the, the cost of the A7 III, the microphone's going to be pretty good. What it is with this, with these mics, because obviously it's a stereo pair of Omnis, we're going to get a nice spacious sound. Yeah, hmm. but for dialogue, I, I prefer to record with the mono mic just to, to anchor the dialogue to the centre. But these are going to sound great though. So go ahead, talk a bit, Gaz. Yeah, that seems uh, like a really good idea. I mean, sometimes you like a nice ambient background, depending on where you are. And I'm presuming that for the, the cost of the A7 III, the microphone's going to be pretty good. Okay, so as we could hear from there, the net result was very loud or much louder from the Loudmax plugin combined with a raise on the channel itself. Now, was that perfect? Well, probably not, but did it bring our level up to an appreciable level? Well, definitely. So the thing is, you know, you should always get these things right, whether it's audio or whether it's video, you should always get it right at the recording stage. So at acquisition, get it all right there. Unfortunately, if you've been a bit of an idiot like me and you forgot to do something during the acquisition stage, then yes, you will have to dig into some kind of post-production in order to correct things. And in that instance, I would say, yes, you know, we could get away with what I've just played there. It definitely helped us to bring that level up, you know, to an appreciable output level game. Okay, so I'm going to leave a link in the description below to where you can go and download the Loudmax plugin. Now, after downloading it and testing it and having a good play with it, if you decide that you've fallen in love with it just as I have, and it becomes part of your daily kind of audio tool set, then please leave a donation for the developer of this plugin. Because, you know, without people like the developers that do stuff like this, people like us, the end user, really are very limited in how we can go about doing what we do. So, seriously, leave a donation for the developer also if you've liked the look of this video editing software that I've been using here it's called Edius by a company called Grass Valley if you check out in the descriptions again there'll be a link where you can go to the Grass Valley site and check out this software even more also you can download the demonstration version of this software and you can check out its functions and stuff the only thing that I would like to say though about this particular software it is the best non-linear editing software ever ever in the whole world and the universe blah 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 so seriously go and check that out as well it's awesome also a massive thank you to my friend Gary who's also affectionately known as Threlly because it's been his A7 Mark III camera that's that's allowed me to do this demonstration and, it, and my serious lack of knowledge about it and on that point as well Gary at some point it, we, we will balance this out where you get to use your camera more than I do anyway so the last thing that remains for me to say now is thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now